It's not something you hear about every day. Dogs going to prison. But what you might find even more surprising is the reason those dogs are going there. 7 and 4's Megan Morelli traveled to the Upper Peninsula for the answer. She joins us live in the studio with the story. Megan? Mark and Kristen, every day thousands of dogs are put down because they aren't able to find loving homes and families to be a part of. Since 2011, the Eva Burrell Animal Shelter in Manistique has been helping to change that by partnering with the Alger Correctional Facility in Munising. They started the program to save dogs' lives, but what they didn't expect is that it would change the inmates' lives. I have 44 years in prison. In the last two years have been the best years of my life because of this program. Here at the Alger Correctional Facility, 21 inmates are a part of a very unique program. Here, shelter dogs without homes come to stay so that one day that can change. So what I needed was a group of people who could be consistent, who had strength, and when I was trying to find the base of people that that would be, that became a group that were incarcerated. Since 2011, Patricia Newby and the Eva Burrell Animal Shelter have been coming here, training inmates to train dogs. The men that take part are carefully chosen and must meet certain conduct and crime criteria. It's, it's a need. I mean, there's so many homeless dogs out there. The dogs who come here are considered less adoptable. Many have extra behavior challenges and have a high risk of being returned to a shelter. The graduates leave having been house trained and learned basic commands like sit, down, stay, heal, and some other fun tricks. Let's tour. Here. Let's tour. Up. The dogs are in the men's care 24-7 and can live with them for anywhere from several weeks to several months, depending on the training they need. Now, some of us come in, uh, you know, like attitudes, like this program right here is going to teach you patience. If you don't have patience, this program is not for you. The Charlevoix Area Humane Society is one of nine shelters with dogs in the program. Chowder, Mason, and Duke are their most recent graduates who are currently waiting for their forever homes. To see an animal that I knew that uh, maybe we wouldn't be able to rescue, but uh, eventually had the skills and the talents to know that uh, we'll be able to, to give that animal a special home. Like there have been in the excess of 100 dogs in like in a three year period that have come through the program, and our success rate is, is well over 90%. But this program does come with a few sad moments. The day that they leave, you're sad for, for a few days, and uh, a lot of tears shed. Oh, that's the worst part. You hate to see them go, but you'd be happy to see them go. Well, this program is all about saving dogs. Directors have realized it's also been helping another group. It just touches my heart every time I get to work with a dog and, and, and give life rather than I'm in here for taking a life. And, and that's, uh, uh, that's an honor to me to, to be able to do that. It's a fabulous experience because I feel like even though I'm incarcerated, I get to uh, be a uh, uh, positive influence on the community that I, that I serve here. Terrell Jones says he's even started to relate to the dogs. So as I started to work with this dog, trying to help this dog conquer his fears, I noticed, I started to notice that I had a lot of fears in myself that I hadn't dealt with. And so it went from me trying to help the dog conquer his fears to me and the dog working on cocking our fears together. They say the dogs have also had an effect on the entire prison. Immediately, as soon as a person see a dog, they want to play with them. They're not so harsh and they're not so edgy. They're not so rugged. You know, it, it brings out the humility in the person. What the dogs have done is start to save the inmates. Alger was the second prison in the state to start this program, and now there are 10 and they hope their message and success spreads throughout the country. It sounds very cliche, but uh, there's no question in my mind it's a win-win, win-win. Being a part of this program for the first time gave me a sense of pride of, of, of being proud, of being a part of something that's actually helping someone other than myself. Now, the Eva Burrell Animal Shelter provides everything that the dogs need for the program, including food, toys, and vet care. To find out how you can help with that, you can have a, head over to our website, upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in the studio, Megan Morelli, 7 and 4 News. Thanks, Megan. That's the kind of story that just makes you smile. It, it really does. On the yeah. night before Thanksgiving, right. it's the perfect kind of story. And um, 
And it, it's just an amazing story, Megan, yeah. nicely told. Yeah.